Oh my gosh. I know. It's when you texted me. <laughs> I well, I was working. I know. I did. Because <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It's like this shit just keeps going. Oh my goodness. Are okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Hi, hey, everyone. Where is this? We're, we're. The Sunshine Citrus. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to say it together. We usually do. But well, I had. Oh, you were trying to get cut the no, muffin out of you. Ready? Yeah. We're the Sunshine, Sunshine Stitchers. I'm EJ. I'm Shelia. And eventually we'll remember how to get all of this together. And yeah, this is the second time that we messed up. Third yep, time? Yep, yep, yep. But that's okay. Third time will be the charm. We have to talk about next weekend because next weekend is Thanksgiving weekend. So mm -hmm. we need to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Anyhow. Well, I'm, well I'm, I'm free for the whole week. Oh, that's right. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Friday at three o'clock when the kids left, I had my purse ready to go. I walked out of the building with them. Like, right, look, mm -mm. I was ready to go. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. Yeah, it was an interesting week because, you know, we had all that rain. What oh, they call it horrible. That stationary front. It rained for a solid 24, 24 hours. Um, where out here where we live, we got about um, 10 inches, I think I heard, about I 10 know. inches. All I know, it did not stop. It never stopped. In my house, all of my windows have, are covered in plastic, except for he's finished back here, so the plastic has come off. Mm -hmm. But last week, all of the doors and windows back here were covered in plastic. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see anything, nothing. But you could hear it. I could hear it, mm. and I could see the plastic moving yeah. on the side and front windows it was so windy windy and rainy windy. <clears throat> and right. we're already below sea level yeah so flooding occurred well plus it was king tide when oh. uh the lunar cycle when the um winds or something pushes the waters. water further up right yes. yeah so yeah we have flooding uh like fort lauderdale mm -hmm. beach uh, a lot of the beach areas flood anyway mm -hmm. during King Tide. Yeah. So not only did was there King Tide, there was also, and the, the coastal areas got much yeah. more rain than we yeah. did. And some places down in Miami-Dade County, I think they got 17 inches of rain. Yeah, but so, Dade County flooded. said, we're going to school the next day. It, I know. They gave zero fucks, exactly. okay? Zero. <laughs> in fact, when... <laughs> I was watching the news rare time. It's the only mm -hmm. time I ever watch the news is when there's really something that I'm following. There was a, the reporter standing there and a school bus comes mm -hmm. rolling through basically a small pond yeah. in the street. And I'm thinking, are my kids yeah. out trying to wade through water yep. to get to school buses? Yep. I'm not sure. I think Fort uh, Broward, Broward County made a good decision. Yeah, I think so too. Because the kids driving the to work, you saw downed trees. Yeah. You saw it was all sorts of yeah. road hazards, and yeah, yeah it's dangerous but conditions. My lake was is was has come down a little bit already, mm -hmm. but the lake was full. full. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, can imagine. Full. It so, rained and yeah. rained and rained. Yeah. But we, we, but then now we're headed into officially getting close to dry season. Mm -hmm. So it was probably a nice little. And we also broke a record. Sorry, folks, for all of this, but <laughs> but we broke a record. This was the third rainfall officially, kind of uh -huh. over fifteen mm. inches, thirteen inches, I think, was mm -hmm. the, over thirteen inches of rain in this area mm -hmm. in the last since they started recording. And um, of the three, two of them happened in 2023. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's Listen, amazing. and the next day, you have on your rain boots, your raincoat, because you're ready. Dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a drop of moisture came out. It all, su all sucked out. 
<laughs> so you wear your rain boots for nothing. Exactly. So we oh. are a channel about cross stitch. Cross stitch, yes. We just happen to have a really interesting weather week. I mean, that's... <laughs> a, yeah. We're it's in not South like Florida this. in case... It's usually hot, down. but... It's always just hot. Yeah. And uh, humidity is down, not too humid. No. Um, so again, yes. for all of you who have been following along with me, yes, the dentist hitman murder case. This week was yet another like what week. So the the dentist hitman's mom, Donna. Remember, Donna was the the, the mother-in-law mother -law of all mother-in-laws who didn't like the the, the, the guy who was killed, the lawyer who yeah. was killed, the, the husband of her daughter. Yeah. Ex-husband of her daughter. Yes. So, and she just kept messing and messing and messing. And, and even after, yeah. So, she was arrested. Oh, on Wednesday, I believe it was, on Wednesday, at Miami International Airport oh. with her husband. Oh. With one way tickets to via Dubai to Vietnam. There's no extradition treaty between the US and Vietnam. Oh. So she knew it was coming. She was getting the hell out of Dodge. Wow. She. she and they arrested her at the airport. Wow. Can you imagine? So now the So so hmm. I mean, really, can you make I keep saying this, can you make yourself look more guilty? But I don't think she could a one way yeah. ticket to a country where there's no extradition treaty with the US. I, maybe I watch too many TV shows, but she did this under her name and her passport? Yeah. Oh. The, 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 yes. The stupidity level <laughs> is astounding, Aye. which is what kind of keeps this case going and going and going, that the um, yeah. entitlement of this mm. family, the self-entitlement, mm. and the, um, what is the, there's another word, but that they can do what they want and get away with it yeah. and that they're smarter and if they do this do that the police like she thought she wasn't being followed like they would not know as yeah. soon as something popped up of course you're you're i'm sure their thing was flagged yes i'm i'm a, flag. I, maybe i watch too many tv shows but i'm sure of it credit card is being monitored because they had to buy that ticket somehow yeah that, so that was like, and it was all over the national news. Wow. Um, yeah, all over. I don't news. watch news. I guess I don't watch, because I'm, I'm she, I was work like I said, I was working. And she you texted me. I was like, really? <laughs> when did this happen? They, had, they showed a picture of her being arraigned mm -hmm. uh, with the, the, the uniform on. The <laughs> orange jumpsuit? No, it's gray. It's gray. Oh, it's gray? Because she's just being arraigned. So she's at Miami. Well, she was in the Miami Dade jail, mm -hmm. and then uh, the county further north in Florida is gonna come get her, take her back. Okay. Where she's gonna sit in jail. Yeah. Just like her son did. Okay, and oh, is yeah yeah so <laughs> a whole family. What a oh, whole family. Gosh. So we oh. yeah we enjoy cross stitch. Um, it's our hobby. Uh, we, and we like to talk about We do like to talk, talk about, about it. Actually, we spend more time talking about hostage than we do weather and, and certainly the hitman dentist situation. Uh, but we also enjoy reading your comments. And several of you have commented about that particular case because you're following it as well. Yes. So everyone knew about it except me. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it was just, yeah, anyhow. Um, but we had quite a few comments. We had a conversation last week when Deb was here mm -hmm. uh, about cursive um, yes. writing and how it's not taught now. Yes. But several commenters mentioned that um, Cal in California, the governor is putting cursive back oh. into the schools and possibly in South Carolina. Okay. They're putting cursive back into the schools. 
Um, we um, and a lot of commenters said that they're teaching their own grandchildren and yes. their children how, how to, to write, write cursive. cursive. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jenny Dawn said that we need to remember that. It's it's not the kids' fault. Absolutely, it's, it's not. No, and that like people my age, you know, we raise the generation that's making all these decisions. Absolutely, that are we blame them. in our kids, the yeah. grandkids and great grandkids. Um, ed education being changed drastically. Yeah, we don't do not letters anymore. Oh, we used to write letters. Yes. Pen pals. None we don't that. do that anymore. No, no. It's kind That's of sad. Weird. Yeah. So, um, um, Jenny also said, on the other hand, she still drives a, she drives a Jeep. But she drives a stick, a manual Jeep. I haven't. Why? Because a Jeep should be driven with a stick. And really? I said, yes. It should be. Yes. I've, no, I, I've never learned like to drive a, I don't, it's true for me. The left foot, right foot combination with the R and the arm thing, oh, it's complicated. I learned on a stick. You learned how to drive on a stick? I learned how to drive on a stick. And, of course, my first car was a Volkswagen Bug. Yes. Which was a stick. Yeah. My first car after that was, was a stick? manual. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was a diehard. And I drove a stick for a very long time. Actually, up until I moved here. Mm -hmm. I think I bought my first automatic car after I moved here. Um, it's the rolling back for me that's, that's it, it's sketchy. Well, that's just learning how, where to put the clutch. So you, you, you got it in that magic moment. And once you know- There is car, a magic moment. There is a magic moment. Yeah. Once, once you know your car, uh -huh. you know where that point is. So it's second nature. I, but I remember the, the thing that made me decide that that particular car was going to be my last manual car mm -hmm. was when I was living in D.C. area, dr driving home one day from work, and um, I was stuck in rush hour traffic, mm -hmm. but this was at 7 o'clock at night. There must have been a bad accident yeah. somewhere. Yeah. 7 o'clock at night. And I had maybe 15 miles mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. I did it all in first and second. When I got home, my poor left leg oh, was I, worn out yeah. because of all of the clutching yeah. that I was doing that entire. And it took me, what usually took me 15, 20 minutes at the most door yeah. to door. Yeah took an hour and a half that day. It yeah. was awful, awful, awful. So my poor leg, left leg, yeah. I said, okay, now this, this, that was my, that was the point when I decided I was gonna go automatic. Yeah. But, and since then though, I have driven a manual at yeah. least one other time. My it sister, back to you. my sister, she bought her first car was a manual because it was cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they yeah. were. But now you have to really ask for, for it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that's something I'll learn, because it's uh, maybe because you know when you go to other countries they have manuals. That's that's true. Manual the cars. cars are manual. Yeah, yeah, because they're better on gas control, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, on my to do list. So we were talking last week briefly about the flight, not the flight. Um, the weekend one of Jacob Palooza, the hotel was also hosting the soccer junior soccer players and how disruptive it was at night because mm -hmm. the kids were they don't sleep hockey. they're so no, excited like, exactly <laughs> and and how you know disturbing it was to have in playing uh, hockey, hockey in the, in the hallway hockey, uh, yeah mm -hmm. in the hallways so um uh acuito a acuito a c u e t o seven mm -hmm. um so she was on a red eye flight with a teenage, the teenage soccer team. Oh teams. yeah, I saw. I read that. And she said the parents sat there and put in <laughs> earbuds yes. and ignored their rowdy behavior. They had no empathy for the other people on yeah. the flight whatsoever, or or in guiding the kids to in how to behave in public. Yeah. 
Um, I, I have to say. So she says if she had been in, if the two of us had been in yeah. that hotel, oh, that I would have shut down. The two of us, I said, yeah, <laughs> both of us would have been arrested. We probably wouldn't have seen much of Jacob for losing, but, you know. I have to say, okay, so can you imagine middle school, lunch duty? Mm. But the talk, the, 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 you kind of tune it out. Yeah. Because your own mental volume. Yes. And it's when it gets to a level of pitch mm -hmm. that, you, oh, they're too loud. Mm -hmm. You know, you can bring it down. Mm -hmm. uh, but you kind of tune it out. Yeah. You, you, I mean, and then when they're in the classroom and they're doing group work, you have to tune it out because mm -hmm. they get they, they can get a little mm -hmm. excited about mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. or just talking about something that doesn't have to do with pretending mm -hmm. to math. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I see that. I, but those are okay. I mean, that... They're doing group work, they're yes. working together, or they're having lunch and they're excitedly talking about things. I get that. Mm -hmm. But when, if you're on an airplane, yeah, that's, or you're in like, a hotel yeah. at night, I see it. It's not I acceptable. I see it. Yeah, no. It's just not acceptable. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not. Um, so, uh, oh, there was also a lot of comments about um, Notions, the Notions app. Yes. Yes, so the we'll put a link in our description. Yeah. I think I did already, but I'll double check. There are two. Okay, so I'm doing one Notions app template, and Shelia is doing another one. Yes, the one Shelia is doing is Frizzy Lizzy Stitches, and it's more simplified. You're only yes. doing that to track projects, projects, and Whipgo, and Whipgo. Yes, it's it's it's. You can put in a very comprehensive project description. I mm -hmm. love the way it's laid out, mm -hmm. and I actually made a modification. Mm -hmm. um, and there's one column or one field that she had that I don't understand how it's used, so I took it out. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, that part, that portion. Year, yeah, yeah. A year. I, I yeah. think I understand it, but it's not how I track my work anyway. Gotcha. So I took it out. And I, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. And for me. Mine is um, Sichinati, where it's more, you have the fabric link. Stitching you have Nazi? Not, Nazi, N-A-T-I. Oh, that's not like, what? No. Stitchy underscore N-A-T-I. N-A-T-I. Yes. Okay. She has a gum road. It does cost nine something dollars, I think, for the template, but you have, you track your stitching you track your projects and with that you have a floss you have a to buy list like if you need to buy things you have um a place to put your floss a place to put the fabric it's like uh like a lot and everything is linked to each other so if i if i pull out green damsel i can know what fabric how much i have left what size i used it, it tracks how many total stitches you have the percentage you have left over, how many you did this year, and then in 2024 is going to continue to track at 2024, and then 2025 is going to continue to track at 2025. It had yes, it has a whole lot of stuff. So, so for people who count their stitches mm -hmm. and and keep track of their percentage completed of a chart, it's an excellent option. Absolutely, I don't do that. No, so I'm I want to I track fabric threads use and it's set up so that I can click I can say DMC uh, color and cotton classic color. any mm -hmm. thread that I use I can list it mm -hmm. uh, and have it there um, so this is good I like enjoying it I'm enjoying I, it I am enjoying it too very much yeah um, <clears throat> and I've set up my Whipco board for 2024 I'm still just, working on that I just mine. need to bring it out I, I printed it yeah I, and I'm going to now put it on the copy that we track visually yes for um, the video so, yeah uh, and I like looking at the board in yeah. that way too yeah. so I'm still debating on my whip go. It's still up in the air. Not working. For, well, you got a little bit to go. Not too It's November. Longer. I know. You don't have too long to figure yeah. that out. Go ahead. So, um, yeah, we just want to say that, you know, last week in some of our conversation, there were some comments made, and we just want to just confirm that we do not 
condone comments that are negative or derogatory about a, a group of people. People, yeah. We, we just want to make that very clear. Um, so, oh, I had one more cursive story. Oh. Um, Pam Common mm -hmm. mentioned that uh, she was doing and in, in, interviewing somebody. Mm -hmm. And uh, she took her notes in a little notebook and wrote in cursive. Mm -hmm. And the young man wanted to know what language it was. Oh. And so oh. she ex explained yeah. and described cursive, cursive yeah. writing to him. Uh -huh. She said she often wondered if he ever followed up later and looked up cursive, cursive. or anything like that. Um, and that was in 2016, 17. You know, and it could look like a different language. It yeah. really could. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you want to hide things from your kids, yeah. write it in cursive. Yeah. And, and <laughs> then she made an interesting statement that I thought, wow, that just, I really love the way it was phrased. Mm -hmm. um, she said, you know, cursive is like, it's like a lost opportunity if, because you can... No two people's cursive writing is the same. Absolutely, that's so true. So it becomes that's an true. expression of your personality, mm -hmm. of you, mm -hmm. and, and how your cursive writing mm -hmm. looks. Mm -hmm. And it changes over time. I know my cursive writing has changed um, a, a little bit, not necessarily for the better, but it's changed over time. And I've... I've practiced, you know, mm -hmm. my signature, mm -hmm. my E's are perfect. Mm -hmm. My J's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's the W I. Mm -hmm. it, you just kind of keep going. It just, it just, yeah. anno I do not like the way my W I yeah. looks. I have, I struggle going from Shelia, mm -hmm. going the I to the A. There's something about that that uh -huh. somehow doesn't always work. Yeah. I've never figured it out. Um, but she says, you know, it's, it's, it's like further the, the not teaching kids cursive. Mm -hmm. It's like another one of those little small mm -hmm. stones that an indicator that we're further pushing our society into the gray monotone that lacks personal flair and flavor mm. that keeps the world full of wonder and curiosity. Wow. I thought, oh my God, wow. that was so elegantly yeah. said. And I wow. think that's why it feels like a loss yeah. in yeah. a way. So, yeah. So those are all of our updates this yeah. week. That was a lot. It was good. Yeah. It was good. So did you have any starts? No, did you? No. Oh, okay. No starts for Ooh, me. This no week. restarts? No restarts? No. No. Not this week. Yeah, let me look at my calendar. Let me let me double check. <laughs> double check, but I um, can almost promise you. Nothing. June, July, August. Okay. Where are we? November. November. It's in the back, y'all. Next week is Thanksgiving. Are you ready? I am. I went shopping. I've got the, all the things I need. I'm going to a friend's house. Nope. No new starts. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any finishes? No. Do you? Mm, no. No. Okay. Oh, I do have a start. Oh. I do have a start. What's your start? I'm sorry. I forgot. It was a, I, I, when I when I thought about the finish that meant I forget. My new start is, oh, you want me to hold that? That's going to go into your muffin. Oh, hold on. I got it. There you go. Oh, you do have a new start. Yes. And, and so I didn't separate it out yeah. properly. I started March. Letters from mom, uh, March. I finished February last week. So yes, when I did. asked you about finishes, I said, yeah, no, I don't have any finishes. And I was like, thinking, oh, I had a finish last week, mm -hmm. and I was like, which meant that I had to start. start this week. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I did. Mm -hmm. Is it on called 436 count? Um, it's on 36 Zweiger. count flagstone. Okay. I'm using all the call for threats. Okay. All 10,000 call for threats. Are you switching it one over one? One I'm over two? One over one. One over two? One over two. Okay. And uh, so 
um, my modified yes you want me to button. hold on here you go okay so this is this is the end of february here i'm all doing all 12 on the same piece of fabric including the centerpiece mm -hmm. that she did jeanette douglas is by jeanette douglas yes i did so the um it's calls for um garden classic Co classic color works cottage garden threads cottage garden threads um gentle arts and other um over dyed fl floss mm -hmm. but with each chart we've got enough cottage garden thread of a color of cottage garden thread to do that particular chart do you know they have i'm sorry side note do you know they're having a sale did yes i do <laughs> did you purchase oh any? yes i do <laughs> I'm looking. Look, it's on my to-do list. It, oh well, better hurry up. It's over. I forgot what day it is. Yeah, but thirty percent off. But if you buy a hundred dollars, you get free shipping. shipping. So that's like thirty percent more. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So oh, yeah, so I took care of that. <laughs> um. So the borders of each of the charts is done in a satin stitch format mm -hmm. using the cottage garden threads mm -hmm. and it makes them so pretty so pretty like you can see the edge of february over here yeah and then this is the edge of march. Um, march and i did the top outline the very top outline of um top motif where's the picture right here oh. Yeah. yeah, it's the top of the outline where the words kindness speaks. And I'm going to keep those words. I like that. Yeah, kind, kind. And I'm saying I'm going to keep those words because on several of them, I'm going to change out the sayings to something a little bit different. So I'm really happy about this. It's such a pretty, such a pretty piece. Um, and so I worked on it two days this week. This is also my Whipco call for the month, and it just so happened it was in both of the blocks of the numbers that were called. So it's, it's getting six days, and I only have one more day left for the month. This is nice. I have, because you know, I was in a, a cottage garden thread of the month. Mm -hmm. I have to figure out what I have and then order more. That's That was my whole hiccup because I was going to do that. I was going to do it, you know, at work during lunchtime. Oh. Mm. And, then, <laughs> and then I'm like, but I don't remember what colors I have. Oh, you want to order the same colors? No, I want to order something different. Oh, so you don't want to repeat. Pete, yeah, so I have to know what I have. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I have a pretty good idea of what I have. Yeah. But but I don't mind repeating mm -hmm. because if, if I like a color that much yeah. that I repeat it, yeah. uh, that's a, not a bad thing. Yeah. Especially yeah. with those. And then I'm trying to see, okay, for, for Jacob's um, Modern Folk Embroidery, mm -hmm. the Forget Me Not, that one, I'm like, that would be a nice one with four cottage garden threads, but not what colorway. Like, yeah. it, he, I know he does it in a dark blue, but hers are so variegated, yes. it wouldn't be a dark blue. No, no, no. See, these, these are the thoughts that are going through my head while I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm prepping for tests. You know, <laughs> tests is coming soon. You know that, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <sighs> Exciting. All right, we have a new start. Yes, we did have a new start. And no finishes. No finishes. Okay, let's see your whips. My whips. Okay, so I worked on Green Damsel by... Oh, wait. She had these amazing cinnamon muffins. muffins. Yes, I went by Sprouts yesterday. It, the, really it's good. all in there. The, you see the cinnamon swirls all in there. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah, that's why we have like, kind of like a false start <laughs> when recording because it was delicious. I had to take another bite. So this is Green, Green Damsel by Ink Circles. It's a mandala piece. Mm -hmm. It is M48. I guess for M is for mandala. Mm. And I worked on it some more for the, the top part. I did this. 
So you've reached the top now. Is that the very no, top? No, no, you have a little bit more. No, this, no, is, the this is the very top. That's the very top. Yeah, mm -hmm. but there's some more stitching around mm -hmm. it, but mm -hmm. this is but the very... But that's as high as it's going to go. Yes, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to, you know, orient my fabric correctly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm doing the top part so I can go ahead and do the bottom butterfly mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. That way... I always know, know what's which, up. Well, it's just as easy to put a T in the thing. And I did. Because once you start to fill it in, you're going to lose that. Correct. But when I did do that, but when you put it on a Q-snap, you lose your... Oh, that's true. You can turn it around quickly. It can be turned around quickly. That's, that's right. Because that, you're turning it to, on the back to mm -hmm. tie off and add... Yeah. The next thing you know... I've had that problem where I've had this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm always trying to do more on the top mm -hmm. than on the sides or the mm -hmm. bottom. Mm -hmm. So I completed 223 stitches that day. Very nice. Thank you. I'm nowhere near finished at all. I thought I was. No, I, did I think I was? No, I don't think so. Yeah, because I'm like, dang, that's a lot. If you've done a lot, there's some ways to go. Yeah. It's such a beautiful chart. It's, it's such a gorgeous. Oh, chart. it's on Gossamer. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's a 28 count Gossamer. Picture this plus. Okay. It's a nice greenish, mm -hmm. yellowish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And then I worked on, which I was very, I'm lacking with uh, my seasonal Sunday stitch. Have been keeping up on Sundays. Yeah. Yeah. Either I work on something else or I don't stitch. Mm -hmm. This is um, Auto Montage by, it's a Janlin kit, kit by Janet Stever. The design is by Janet Stever. But you can get a full, you can get a full coverage design on pain-free crafts. And we have several people doing it, the, the full version. It looks amazing. But full coverage. So I got the next best, best thing, <laughs> which is really good, auto montage. And I am not using the fabric it comes with. I am using a 36 count um, vintage country mocha and using the thread that it comes, using the thread. Okay. Look at the color, the color is Which is a DMC-ish. I don't know Close if it's- enough. Yeah. Boom. But you were able to match it against the DMC. No, they give you the number. They give you the DMC number? I don't know if it's a DMC number. They give you a number. It's probably DMC. You think so? Sure. Well, all you have to do is just go to your book and, and just match it up against one of them. Yeah, but they give you plenty. I'm not worried about it. Oh, okay. And plus, I'm doing 36 count I mean, they said one. 310 and it's a black. Yeah. That's DMC. Why would there be a question? Because it's not always DMC. It's, it could be another type of thing, a thread. Because it doesn't say on the thing, DMC threads. But I think copyright is such that nobody else can call their black 310 except DMC. Is it? Is that true? I'm pretty positive. I don't know. All I know is on the, on the thing, it doesn't say it's a DMC brand. And if it was, I would tout it, you know. This is DMC threads. <laughs> right? This is <laughs> this is out of montage. I did 155 stitches. Do you see it? Oh, I, I came pretty. down, started the acorn. It, it's really it's so small, yo. Yeah. But it's so pretty. Look at this. Um, what am I doing? It's right here. You're right here. there. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Boom. There you go. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And all of my montages are on 36 count vintage country mocha. You're getting a lot of glare on that. It's hard to see the picture. Yeah, I tilted a little so okay. they can see it. Can you see it now? No, because that corner that you're working in is still right glare. There. Yeah. Boom. 
Oh, look, I did this. I need to probably put on my glasses. Oh, somebody said they like my glasses. Thank you. I'm trying to keep it on, you know, turning a certain age. My, like, it went from, I can occasionally wear my glasses, I'm good, to now, like, I can't see the TV, <laughs> it's crisp, until I have my glasses on. Uh-oh. You probably have needed to wear them more <laughs> anyway. Shh. But ego. Is it ego? It's vanity. Is it vanity? It's worse than I think I look cute in my glasses. <laughs> Then, then why not wear it? Because I don't know. I'm not used to it. Well, if you don't well, wear them, you can't get <laughs> used to it. That's true. Unless you want to, you, you know, if you don't wear them, you can't see. And then you can't see. And yeah. then you wonder why you can't see. I mean, there's a certain illogic in there, I guess. Really? Yeah. <laughs> then I worked on, this is a horrible picture, Le Jardin de Plaisir. It's Pleasure Garden by Long Dog Samplers. Look, this is a horrible picture, but look. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Look, yo. Man, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I need to put that behind this. So. This is gorgeous. Wow, and you've done a lot on that too. What's that on? 18 count. Is it 18 count? It's 16 count. A uh, fabric that I um, yeah, dyed okay. myself. Okay. Wow, that is pretty. I worked on this end. I believe I worked on the black part. Mm -hmm. The black part of Yosemite Sam, right yeah. here. <laughs> Look at him, right here. And then I worked on some more yeah, cherries on this end. Up, up top here, right? Or no, down the side? Down the side. Yeah, yeah. right there. And what I want to do is continue my gray all the way down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I still have one, two, three, four, five. One more day to stitch on this for my, what do you call that? Whip go. And then I have two more days to stitch on Green Damsel for my whip go. Okay. So that's it. This is my favorite. It's so nice. I love the colors and I love it. And you probably gray, black, and it on the 16 count too. I am. Yeah. I am. So I'm, I am. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should do forget me not on like a 20 count mm. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Use one strand. Yeah. So I'm thinking about forget me not. And guess what? You know, when you start thinking about stuff like that it, and it comes together, it's going to get started pretty soon. Exactly. Modern folk embroidery. <coughs> Forget me not. Yes. And I'm loving all the, the posts. People from um, Jacob Palooza, now they're, you know, starting <coughs> their, Excuse me. their um, projects. And I'm like, well, that's a pretty project. He just released a new one. Yeah. Oh, speaking of releases, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you see Leela Studio Auto Montage? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You want some water? You got some coffee? I went down the wrong way. No. <laughs> so, okay. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Auto Montage by Leela Studio. <coughs> if you have not seen it, it's on Instagram. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. The, um, the turkey on that, amazing. So I was just like, oh, this has to be one of my starts next year. Let me show Sheila. Yes, let me see. <laughs> my sinus. <coughs> Your sinuses? They just decided to drain. Oh. <coughs> is, that, is, is that normal? No. What? <coughs> I don't get it. What does that mean? It means that I've got all this stuff going on in my head, right? <coughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. <coughs> you want a napkin? No. Okay, you just gonna drink some more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what drain sinuses mean. Oh my god. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Find the <laughs> I concerned. No, don't be <laughs> You see it? It is gorgeous. Oh, that is nice. You can, Look at the colors. You probably can get that up so people can see it. 
Let's see. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll pull it up. Oh, you, you'll take... Um, I'll take a screenshot so and then put, put it up. up there. So okay. it's Leela Studio. And um, what she said is going to be in... Because um, she supports needlework shops. It's going to be in needlework shops. And then a month after, then it, it'll probably be a PDF. For those who can't... Who, who doesn't have um, opportunities to go to a needlework shop. Ooh. Or to get it from a needlework shop. But it is a gorgeous, <clears throat> gorgeous, gorgeous. You see the turkey? Let me hold, hold on. Oh, saints of photos. Okay. You see this turkey? Look at this. Is an amazing turkey. It's a oh, great look at all of the all of the colors in there, just like a regular turkey. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good looking turkey. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That's Are you okay? Yeah, now it's cleared out. Okay, yeah. good. I'm glad. It was just all of a sudden my sinuses just decided. Well, let's let's dream. We're gonna dream right now, all at one time. Ooh. So what does it feel? It feels like your head is cleared. No, all of a sudden it's like something running down the back of your throat. Oh. So and were you stuffy thought, before? No. So it, you. Or maybe you were stuffy. You just don't know it because it's not normal for you. It could stuffy. be. Got it. It's like when like I don't just, see. All of a sudden, it's like yeah. a liquid running down the back of oh. your throat. And so you cough yeah. in reaction to. Got it. You look better now. Her eyes aren't watering anymore. No, right, exactly. Because yeah. uh, everything happens. <laughs> I was concerned. You're coughing, your eyes are watering. <laughs> You're trying to keep from choking. <laughs> and I mean, I'm asking a lot of questions about what's happening to you. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, sometimes it's a struggle. <laughs> uh, all right, so um I'm working on Ink Circles Three Little Kittens, uh, which is this one. Uh it is on a 28 count sand from Picture This Plus. I'm using the Called For Classic Color Works. And this week, I worked on the kittens. I finished the kittens. So one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Can you hold it for you? Yeah. So they had one designed as a calico, but I changed up her colors a little bit. Yeah, right here. I changed up her colors a little bit. Um, and this one, I made a little bit more gray and dark gray than what was uh, originally charted. And this one I made more like a tuxedo, all black with white feet. And a little, did I put a white, a little white on the tail? Yes, with a little white on the tip of the tail. <clears throat> Yeah, so does that look like Debbie? It sure does. Yeah, so I I I um, just sort of modified the kittens a little bit so mm -hmm. they look like uh, the three cats that I currently have. So um, who's the gray cat? Well, uh, LeBron James is kind of gray and black. Okay, he's a tabby, stripey gray and black. Okay, um, yeah. And Joe Robinette is a tuxedo. You know? He's black except for right underneath and his feet. Yes. <clears throat> Looks good. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, Did you do this? That was already there. Oh, that huh. round, big round thing was there. So, uh, <clears throat> so on it, it means that I have finished up to this point here where the kittens are. I have to finish... Uh, the mittens words here on the side mm -hmm. and then come down like the bottom here. So I'm not that far away. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try to- You have a third of it left to do. Yeah, I, I, it might be a little bit too much to try to finish for this year, but it will be close. I for next year, do definitely. Early next year, I could make it a finish. Are you doing the year of whips? No. Okay. But I think I can get it done <clears throat> early next year and I'm trying to figure out my year of whips like 
you can pick six projects and focus on three. Make sure you finish half of what you want to finish. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. fair. <clears throat> Mojo Stitches mm -hmm. Bushland Quaker. This is on a 37 count corn tassel. It's a legacy linen. I'm using Cottage Garden Threads and DMC, and I'm doing one thread over two. <clears throat> this time, what did I do? Oh, <clears throat> I'm working on this motif. That's so pretty. Here. Yeah. This motif. Oh, that's here. so pretty. Yeah. Do I have that? I have it, I'm sure. Which is right there. there. <clears throat> no, <clears throat> here. No, here. There. There? Yeah. There. Oh, okay. I can't see it at all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I, that's where I'm, I'm working right now. And that is the end of that side. That's gorge. Yes. So I basically have the whole width done. Let me see it. Yes, you do. So that's as wide as it's going to be. And I just, uh, I have a fairly good size motifs down below. Yes. The purple. Yeah. Do you know the names of the flowers? Yeah. No. Uh uh, but I, I'm pretty, I know they're uh, Australian flowers, yes. but I don't know their names, and I don't know if she put them in the chart. I don't think she identified them in the chart. Oh, um, <clears throat> kangaroo. Paul Wattle Warata Flowering Gum Blossom Geraldton Wax Tea Tree Fringe Lily Lily Pilly Sturts Desert Rose Flannel Flower and Banksia and then the Rosella and the Sulphur Crested Cockatoo. Oh yeah, that's that's the bird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I that's the only yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I enjoy it very much. And one of the things that I like about this particular chart is uh, her use, her, what I call spatial design, mm -hmm. is the way she's used the space and the fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, not making them too crowded, mm -hmm. where you can really see each one and appreciate each, each one. one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, working nicely on that enjoying that one tremendously this is a piece that i'm trying to finish this year no this is raise the roof designs jolly joy jingle it is on picture this plus uh fathom in 36 count so i'm stitching it one over one and i'm using the call for one over two hmm? one over two i'm sorry yes one over two and I'm using the call for except I made a skin tone change in the elf. Is, um, is she an elf? Well, or she's a Jane. She's a Santa. She's a Santa. I'm thinking she has the clothes for the Santa. Okay, she's a Santa. Yeah, I think she's a Santa. Okay, well, you're almost done. Yes, I've made a wow. lot of progress. Yes. <clears throat> I'm. I'm. Whoops. Hold on. Her name is Joy. Joy. Yeah. Jolly Joy. Yeah. How cute. <laughs> so I am working at the very bottom. Yes, she is. There is a, mm -hmm. like a, like a quilted band. Right at the bottom. See? Right at the bottom here. That's, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's look at the whole thing. The, the colors. I don't think it's a set design on the colors in the band and the in the flow of the color. I don't think it's this anyway. I no. think mine is mostly correct. I did get off. A, <laughs> Listen, it's, it's it looks cute. Confusing. Yeah. Why is it confusing? Because of the way you know, I tend to work one color. Yeah, and and so it's it's not evenly spaced. Then you. There's no pattern to it. Yeah, there's no set pattern. To correct. It. Correct. So you can do whatever color you want. That's when I decided when I thought I was off, I thought, oh, then, okay, I'll yeah. just try it. But I, I finally, I think I worked my way through and caught mm -hmm. up to where I'm actually 
stitching the colors in the same spot that they were designed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, so that's all you have to do. So you have about four times four times four is sixteen. 160 stitches left, 176 stitches mm -hmm. left to With finish. The, yeah, and then That's the it. inside of those white boxes gets filled in too. There's oh, oh, thing. there's nothing in there? Well, there will be. I have to stitch something in there. What it's does all it have? One color. Why don't you leave it? No, I want the color. You want the color? Because it looks like it's already stitched. You see? Yes, it does because of the green mm -hmm. coming through from the fabric. Mm hmm. The color is, oh, it's black. Oh. So it will show up. It will show up. Yeah. Oh, so now I have a decision as to whether to use a toile so it'll be shiny. Because mm. I did the boots and a toile. Yes, you did. Um, so see. whether to do a regular 310 or blackboard or whatever it is I have on here. There you go. Jolly Joy Jinko. I must have done. blackboard because, I, yeah, I have blackboard. Yeah. Alrighty, so yes, as I said, sorry. I'm trying to um, make this as a finish for this year, and I'm getting there. I'm doing doing well. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I did not have the button pack. Oh, you didn't? No, you had to order it. I, I did already. Yeah, I ordered it, and it's coming. So I'll yeah, be nice. Able to get all that in there. <gasps> My fave afternoon in London. Yes. Yes. I know you really it, like this one. It's really, I love oh. it. I love London, New York. There's another one, Afternoon in Paris. London, yes. New York, and Paris. Mm -hmm. So this is Afternoon <laughs> in London. It's on, um, it's a country cottage needleworks. It's on 30 count London mist, which is a legacy linen. And I'm using DMC and Victorian model sampler threads. I finished the house. You know, my love of houses. Not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but I finished the house. I had a little bit to do on the roof. The flat. No. No. It's a house. It's a house. It's a house. And I came down and filled in all the windows, the door, and there was some grass right in here, like leading up to the door that I finished. So, yes, I'm so glad I get to move on and do something else. And there's another house there. No, there's Big Ben. Big Ben. This is something. And this is the TARDIS. <laughs> you should stitch it in blue to make it the TARDIS. Hmm. No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Dr. Yeah, who? I did. Okay. Uh -huh. um, what is this? Think, isn't that the palace? Palace, maybe. Like the palace guard? Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. So. Looks good. But it's another house. It is, basically. Yeah, it's another house. But that's all right. So that's that okay. afternoon in London. So I'm nice. Making some progress on that. Really happy with it. That looks really pretty. Yeah. I really like it. I do too. It's 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 nice. It's fun. Yes. So uh that was a milestone. Whoop whoop! Finishing the house. Yeah. I also picked up, yes, Data Portraits in Paris, 1900 wow. by Shaded Stitchery. This is on Angel Wing, Fabrics by Stephanie, 32 count, DMC, and the call, call for, for um, she has um, classic color works, gentle arts. And Leo, like Roxy Floss. Mm-hmm. So I'm using DMC, some Victorian model sampler. Yeah, DMC. Oh, and some, yeah, uh, gentle arts, classic color works. I have a little bit of everything in there. So <clears throat> this is almost done. Yes, it is. In fact, I did a page finish yesterday. Uh, I did a page finish uh, yesterday. I came down uh, here and finished this corner right there. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. there are only a few rows left 
It's a, it's a, like a, a squirrelies scale. Yeah. Yeah. Like squirrelies. So you have about less than 200 stitches left. Probably. Yeah. Cause there's singles all around. Yeah. It's, they're really, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we're talking about these yeah. squirrelies down. So you're going to finish it this year? Yes, this okay. is, I'm going for a finish for this. this so year. Jolly Joy Jingle and, and Data Portraits in Paris. Sounds good. That finishes before the end of 2023. I love it. Yep. That's so pretty. Yeah. So I have some unplanned days at the end of the month because next week is finishing week. Next week is, I always pick Thanksgiving week mm -hmm. to do finishing on um, ornaments and things. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I'm I'm going to work on I've I've got pieces that I've identified you know, as plans, um, and then I still have like the week after is relatively unplanned. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It is. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm going to do uh, some work on data portraits in Paris and Jolly Joy Jingle. Sounds good. That week, like two concentrations. So. They should, they should one day each. You should be done. Yeah, I think Absolutely. so. I think so. Uh, um, it's a quiet week. Not a lot going on this week for some reason. Though it's Thanksgiving week, I've got a lot going on. Speaking of Thanksgiving, I decided the pressures of a whole turkey. Mm -hmm. Cause they love my turkey, but I I feel pressure. Mm -hmm. Cause you don't want a dry turkey. Mm -hmm. I'm doing smothered turkey wings. Oh. That everybody likes dark meat? They don't like, yeah, we don't like white meat. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. well, okay. yeah. we end up having it for in sandwiches. Yeah. 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 So, but most of it goes in <laughs> soups or sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? Turkey wings. That I don't have to worry good. about it. Yes. Um, I feel better. After I made that decision, I felt better. I missed one of your whips. What? I've got... Green Damsel, mm -hmm. Janet Stever, Autumn Montage. And Le Jardin. Oh, the Plaisir. Yeah. The okay. Pleasure Garden. What happens is I, I start looking yes. and forget to write it down. No, yeah, it's good to look. Plaisir. P-L-I-S-I-R. And that's Jardin Privé. No, that's Long Dog. Oh, Long Dog. Yeah. Oh. Okay. How about any investments or kindness this week? I do. I... Did, did you get your December cross stitch? Yeah. Uh, primitive needle? No, no. Not that. Just cross stitch magazine. I think so. Okay, I don't, I don't. A while back. See, I think I've been waiting and they haven't oh. sent it. So I have to let them know. You this did, is. You did clear up your subscription status, right? Yeah, yeah. until 2024, December 2024. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's next year, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Color and Cotton 32 Count. That's so pretty. It's Margarita. That's very pretty. That's really nice. Wow. Look it's at this. It's got a tinge of green. It is green. Oh, okay. Right? With yeah. a little bit of yellow? Maybe, yeah. Very pretty. Ooh, that's nice. That's so nice, y'all. Oh, that looks pretty good. At least from where we sit, it yeah. looks pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Let me fold it again. Let me put it against the brown. Yeah. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Very pretty color. Yes. Wow. And who is that again? Color and cotton. Color and cotton. Thirty-two Margarita. count. Margarita. Hmm. Now I'm in my head thinking, what can I stitch with this? Absolutely. Wow. That is a nice shade. That is really pretty. It reminds me of a pistachio. Yeah. Really nice. That's it for me. How about oh, you? I have no, nothing that has arrived yet. <laughs> I've got a bunch of Cottage garden threads winging their way from Australia. Listen, mine is coming because so, I'm about to order today. Yes. Because I think, let me look at it for you. So you don't have your hopes up and then you go check it out and it's not there. 
I'll let you know that the last day, Cottage Garden Threads, the last day of the sale is their 30th, it's 30% off threads. It's their 15th birthday. Can yeah. you believe it? 15 years. Wow. wow. It ends November 21st at midnight. Yeah. Um, Australia time. And this is the 18th. Today's the November. 18th. Yeah. So you yeah. got a couple of days. Yeah. Yep. 30%. Yeah. And I'm telling you. At, at like, buy it for your way. Christmas gift. It, it, happy birthday. Happy anniversary, rather. Yes. And um, thank you so much for the sale. It's, yes. Uh, oh, I, I went right in there. Yes. Okay. Plans. Oh, my plans. Oh, speaking of plans, I want to show you yes. my 2024-2025 planner. I got this at Amazon. And you can look up, I believe you can look up Clever Plans. Clever, C-L-E-V-E-R. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Yep. Right here. Clever Plans. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Clever right here. It has personal info if you want to write. It's really nice and big. Oh, already decorated Januaries <laughs> with my stickers. And uh, the boxes are big. The, um, the line is dark. And then on the next, you have a whole bunch of lines. You have that for all the, the months. And when it gets to the next year, because it's a two-year planner, you have 2025 calendar and review. You have important dates. Oh, hold up the back so they can see the back oh. pull out because that's really pretty. You finally can see the whole design there. Yeah. Very and what pretty. I did I, is I took it out of the binding and took it to Office Depot so they can put a co coil bound. Yeah. So they can have it coil bound. It costs, what, $6. I got the a, a bigger one. <laughs> and um, well, that's the guy painting my house back oh, there. You see him? I see him, a reflection of him in the picture. Oh, I don't see him. You see him right I now? Didn't see him. Oh, because you know his that that um you know your panels and mm -hmm. that door mm -hmm. thing, you don't see it. Okay. But now now you see him, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I can't see him as clearly in the video. video that but he's moving. Yes. Yeah. So So he's painting it by himself? Yeah. He's yeah, doing a pretty good him. job. Yeah. And he started today? No, no, no. He started Tuesday. Oh, okay. Uh, but on Wednesday, he during all that rain, yeah. he was actually able to paint right the, the back of the house because it's under a roof cover. Oh, so oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually painted that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have to get his number. <laughs> like for, and he's not bad to look at. No. <laughs> he doesn't speak English, but it's okay. But he speaks Creole. Is it, oh, do you speak to him in Creole? I can speak to him in Creole. I speak, I speak Creole. Okay. He doesn't speak English. That doesn't change nothing. <laughs> I, I can learn the language. <laughs> just kidding, y'all. Just kidding. Anyway, this is it. If he's Asian, I, I speak to y'all. I know that. We'll, we'll converse. Yeah. I don't speak Spanish nor Creole. So. Yeah. Yeah, Spanish would be a little we're, tough. We're, we're getting through. We're, yeah. we're getting through. You're muddling we're, through? Yeah. I mean, it's not hard. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very comfortable with not uh, with knowing that I do not speak every language. Yeah. So if in trying to communicate with somebody who doesn't speak English, yeah, I just kind of take that on as we're going to find a way we're to make, make this it work, work. Yeah. So that we can communicate. Yeah. And also, you know, on your phone, works. that's how I communicate that's with true. some of my Spanish speaking students. Yeah. Is we do Google Translate. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's come in. I never think of that uh -huh. actually. Yeah. I just sort of yeah. Do a lot of pointing and, and then and yes. patience and time. Yes. And, and yeah. yeah. So my planner for 2024, 20, 25, which you all have seen before, because you heard my little story about <laughs> Yes. Sorry. Oh <laughs> I learned. You you I learned exactly what to do. Yes. You know, 
everybody knows exactly what to do <laughs> if they want to get their planners uh, spiral bound. Yes. You, you know, learn from other people's experiences. experiences. Yes. You don't try to cut the binding off. No, that's a no-go. Yeah. You can use a hairdryer to mm -hmm. loosen up the glue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then carefully break the binding mm -hmm. in different multiple spots all the way down mm -hmm. and then carefully, starting from the middle, mm -hmm. one at a time, mm -hmm. one at a time. Don't, don't do like others. They take a razor and slash A nine dollar exacto knife. <laughs> exacto knife and slashes, slice yep. and dice. Yep, yep. But you know, it's a learning experience. Yep. So here's my 2024, 20, 2025 um, planner, mm -hmm. which has, I put the plastic cover on it. You didn't, did you put a plastic cover on yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. You just can't see it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Plastic cover. Back. It too is from Amazon. Can you open it like that? Oh, nice. And I love that blue. Yes. And the uh, design is uh, Carson, C-A-R-S-Y-N, M, Edvane, E-D, as in David, E-V-A-N-E, -E, and but all of the planner information will be in our description box. Uh, this one starts out with a little contact page. Ooh, for um, retreats and stuff. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yes. Uh, a, a summary for the calendar year, a one year look at the calendar year, holidays and observances with space to write your own in. And like the one EJ has, the boxes are pretty good size, mm -hmm. which I like because then I can write Ow. down the name of what I'm going to stitch on and still have maybe a little bit more room for stickers. Yes. I don't overly sticker, but I would like to have more stickers, a little more space. I started doing great with stickers. And it also has the uh, double wide um, mm. ruler uh, line there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, and again, to, st to start out 2025, you have a repeat of the year in summary mm -hmm. and the uh, holidays and observances. For those who are doing new moon starts, because I know Garrett does every new moon, he does a start. Yeah. Um, it tells you right there uh, your mu the moon phases, you know, mm -hmm. half moon, full moon, mm -hmm. waxing, waning, and new. I don't think I have that one. It's under year in review. It could be right under it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like it's the same design. Yeah. Except yours is darker printing. Mm -hmm. Mine is a lighter printing. And yes, and on the side of the year... Yeah. Um, side of the month, you have your note section. There's a little note section here. Mine, are, mine is like a dotted line, and yours is a solid line. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's, 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 it's a nice layout. It's yes. a very nice layout. I like it a lot. A I lot. hear people do this as passive income. Like, they, they do the calendars, mm -hmm. and then... Amazon print it for them. Oh, and they get like a little. So they percentage. just do the design. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That's good which is stuff. why you see so many by an individual mm -hmm. because I know Carson Edvani mm -hmm. has several yes. designs. Correct. Probably the same with that one. With the clever plan. Yeah, and so the size of this. So this is also this is my twenty two. Yeah. 2022, 2023. And this was given to us. By uh, I bought it for you. Oh, you bought it for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was given to me. I just know it was given to me. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, 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 I did buy you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to sticker all the time. Okay, I have little stickers. My little stickers. That was twenty twenty two. 2023. April. Look at April. I've done some stickering. Oh, wait. oh, this is not bad. Yeah, EJ got me into stickering. Yay! 
Look at my May. Look how colorful my May is. Look at my my August is colorful because I did a lot of stitching, but the stickers not so much. Yeah. I like stickers, and not then, big stickers. Not so much in August. And I have my Minnesota sticker. Yep. Oofda. Oofda. And then I got my New Orleans stickers. Yep. I also put a sprocket. I have a sprocket printer, mm -hmm. which you can get off Amazon. And I make copies of the photos of my finished pieces and I put them in the planner. So I have pictures of all my finishes for the year. And I also keep my monthly good go board on one of yeah. those pages in the planner. And so what I was saying about having the nicer size, mm -hmm. um, the, the nicer, bigger blocks is that, you know, if you do want to put a sticker somewhere, I have to be very careful because I don't want to cover over the name of the project that I stitched on with mm -hmm. sticker, sticker, but I do want to put sometimes something there. Yes. And I usually put stickers on after I finish the month. So oh, yeah? that was October. And sometimes when I pull out all my sticker thingies, I will go back and add more mm -hmm. to a month. Like October looks a little bare. <laughs> um, and then uh, November, this was my November plan. And you don't see any stickers there at all. No. So at the end of November, probably one day next week or so, or a week after, I'll go in. When I start to set up for December, I'll go in and sticker November. This month, I didn't because I was not feeling well. Yeah. So I was doing good just yeah. to get November yeah. laid out. So, so I'm excited. Yes, it's going to be a good year, 2024. I'm thinking about what things I want to start. I'm going to do some, what I call vintage charts starts. Okay. Yeah. Some of the old charts that I have in my stash, I'm going to pull those art out and start them because I'm like, I, I'm not going to take them to my grave. So let me start them because... Yeah. You know, it, it was uh, so. Do you want stitching with you? Pardon me, in your <laughs> with you in your grave? Like, in, oh no, you no, know, you don't want. No, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna be in a box anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm opting, so I don't want, of course, you can always put them in the crematorium. <laughs> with you like, I don't think that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so what am I stitching this week? Uh, oh, right. did we talk about plans? No, we got oh, we got the sidetrack. We got the no sidetrack. Yeah. Oh, hmm. which never happened. No, ever. Well, because I am free this week, um, I will be stitching on my to catch up. I'm trying. To, I'm good. I think I want to do two a days, meaning two projects a day. Um, it's gonna be. The long dog sampler, the pro, the the gray one. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be um, the ink circles, green damsel. I also have to work on my here it is my magazine monthly challenge for November. Um, I think I want to work on. I need to finish. I finished two things. I need to finish two more things to complete my year of whips this year, which is a group by Melanie Watkins, where you can pick a total number of, of a minimum of six um, that you want to work on and to finish half of those, half of that number. So I- So you pick six and try to finish, finish three. three. Me being optimistic, <laughs> January <laughs> picked eight. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to minimally finish four. I finished two, which was I knew they were going to be finished. But the other two, I'm going to have to hunker down woo, to finish those two. And those two to, okay. is what I'm going to work on. I'm going to work on uh, Britta Cup Design Seasonal Motifs 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have one more full one to complete and then the back stitching and the beads for mm -hmm. all 
four of them. Mm -hmm. Because I thought in my head, let me do all four to mm -hmm. make one project. What was mm -hmm. I thinking? And then the next one that's closer, closer to a finish is limited edition. Yes. Which I'm looking at it now. I'm like, oh, it's not bad, but it's not as close as you thought, thought it yes. was. Yeah. yeah. So I got to honker down. Isn't that funny how in your mind, yes. your picture of that piece in your mind. Yes, it's almost done. It's almost done. And then you pick it up and look yes. at it. It's like, oh. What? Oh, I have to do oh, these corners oh, and then oh, the whole I got these pages yeah. left. At, oh, yeah. And then today I'm stitching with candy and be kind to one another. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and I have yin and uh, that's messed up. All right. So Which those are my is, plans this week. Which one is messed up? I said not messed up. That's next time. Oh, not next this. Time. Okay. Not this coming okay. week, but the next week I'm yeah. gonna work on that. Okay. Uh, I have Samper Festi mm. um, for today. today. I'm going to work on Seaside Sampler, R Rosewood mm. Manor. Oh, and Samper Festi is Maria Diaz. Diaz. And it's from the Matt e. um magazine. Mm -hmm. The French magazine. Yes. I've got the Common Thread, which is Jeanette Douglas. Yes. Uh, again, back to Three Little Kittens, so that might be a finish next week. Mm -hmm. Letters from Mom, which will be the last day, with Go Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, wrapping, coming back to Data Portraits next week. I did put down Semper Festif, but I might not. Now, having said that, the common thread, Three Little, the, all the ones, except for Seaside Sampler that mm -hmm. I've just spoken about, will depend... I don't know how much I'll, time I'll actually put in on them because it's my finishing week. So why don't you move Shift that down, down and just work on uh, Jingle Jam, Jingle Jingle Joy, Joy jingle. jingle, Jolly Jingle Joy, Jolly Joy Jingle, yeah, and Three Little Mittens. And then Kittens. Kittens. Yeah, just ship those down because it's the next week that's open. Yes, and Data Portraits. So move Letter for Mom down. Move, what does that say? Common thread. Down. And move, oh uh, no, keep data portraits. So those two, especially that Tuesday, you finish that. Boom, right there. You yeah. already put an F for finish. Yeah. That's right. Tuesday won't be much of a finishing day because that's my Zoom day. Mm -hmm. So you can finish that Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I might even be able to finish both of them on Tuesday. Really? Well, because well, we start Zooming at 10, mm -hmm. usually finish around 5. We used to finish around 4, but lately it's been around 5. five. You, can do going door, and going. you can do data portraits first. That is an easy finish for you. Yeah, that's an easy finish. And then do Jolly Joy Jingle. Yeah. That's an easy finish. Finish too, yeah. And then, if you have more time, Three Little Red Kittens. Three Little Kittens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, Three Little Kittens would not be a finish. That's exactly what we were just talking about. In my mind's eye, when um, I was doing my plan, yeah. I was thinking yeah, I yeah, could finish right. Three Little Kittens. Not, no. no, there's a lot more yeah. to do down below, yeah. so that's not a potential finish, but Jolly Joy Jingle and Data portraits, portraits are potential finishes. Yes. Okay, that's why that's misleading. Yes. But that's exactly what we were, we were talking, talking about. about. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, that's a good idea. I might just ship those down, kind of take that little bit of pressure, pressure off. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Okay. All righty. So, those are our pens. And that's why we use um, erasable pens. Because I'll just Friction. erase yep. and write it. And yeah. Erase and write it. Well, not that one, but this one. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, I will be taking out my sewing machine. Oh. And do some sewing. Good for so you. Do some quilting. Piecing? The first part. Piecing, piecing is the first part. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> no, actually, the first part is cutting. Uh, that is nerve wracking. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a perfectionist. Eh, perfectionist on certain things. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Anyway, any who's it, what's it. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, announcements. Did you bring, you didn't bring uh, oh Quaker, the Rosewood Manor. Yeah, because you know, guess what? It doesn't Quaker, what? In two weeks, it starts. It starts. Are y'all ready? 1st, December 1st. Are y'all ready? Because I'm ready. 
Are you really? I am. Oh, okay. Wait, am I ready? No. I got to put it, I got to scan it and put it in, um, so it's already in my Notions app. Okay. I have to scan it and put it in my Markup RxP. Are you going to put it in Markup? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I have the threads. Everything is fine. I put it in rings. Everything is fine. So I I just need to do that one thing. Okay. And then December 1st, y'all, uh, one dozen Quaker, the Sal starts. There he go, going up the ladder. Ooh, <laughs> that ladder's shaky. It's, he's on soft ground. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, y'all, keep an eye out. Well, Make sure he's I okay. Know. If he goes down, <laughs> yeah. we'll be jumping up and Yeah. Running. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'll be um, a, a, a dozen Quaker, a dozen, a baker's dozen sow, right? Basically, you have 13 months to finish. Bake me a Quaker. Yes, that's the sow. That's yes, the sow. Hashtag bake me, me a Quaker. Quaker. Yes. Um, so starting December 1st, ending in December 31st of next year. 2024. 2024. So I would have officially, and I'm calling it. Today is November 18th. 18th. This will be my first Rosewood Manor finished in 2024, December. I'm calling right. it. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. It has to happen, right? <laughs> so we take the the mo we take the the chart and cut it into 12 parts. You have the extra month to finish whatever you didn't finish, and you can um stitch in any order you'd like. What I did was my testing months, I made a small, like it was a smaller number of stitching than my summer months, which I'm free. So I, that's how I worked it. So you, everybody doesn't have to do the same 12 parts? You, you're you gonna end up doing the same 12 parts, but in what order you wanna do it, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So you can start bottom left, Okay. You can start bottom left. So bottom I know left. you put a picture at the end of the video, but yes. can you put a picture in here too? I sure will. Okay, It'll so right folks here. can really see what we're talking about. Yes. Yes. And uh, it, it should be fun. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Oh, and then what I was wondering is because December 1st is a Friday to do a Zoom. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like to do a zoom, I'll put it on my Insta, I'll put it on on um, Sunshine Stick Stitchers, Stitchers to do a Zoom call for those who want to to participate or to celebrate yeah. or to start. start. Oh, that'll be yeah. fun. Um and so that information, mm -hmm. this is all she didn't know about it. She was like hmm. that information will be on our Sunshine Stitchers Facebook group or um my what do you call that? Instagram. And if she I can give you the information you could put on yours. Um, so it'll be on Sunday starting at no Friday. You said Friday, Friday, December first. Friday, December first, starting at what did I say? Six thirty PM. You didn't, you didn't say a time. I didn't say a time. But now you're so Friday, December first at six thirty PM. Yes. Join EJ on Zoom yes. and the link will be available. Yes. On our Facebook group. Yes. And well the password, the, username and password. Well, not username, but the passcode. The join information. Yes. And on her Instagram. Correct. Okay. Yes. And it's gonna be from like six thirty to seven. No, six thirty to like ten. Oh. There's a a long time. Yeah, that's how long I stitch on Fridays anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. After so work. then Saturday, you'll come and tell us all about it. Yes. Because right. she will be asleep. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. But yeah, it's going to be fun, I think. It's going to be great. Yeah. Just okay. everybody showing their threads and fabric and all that <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. It's going to be good. Okie dokie. All right, Smokey. Yeah, I think we said it all. And don't forget, no matter where you are, the sun is always shining when you're stitching. Bye. He goes up the ladder again. Move the ladder. Yeah, he now did. He's going up. Did he just automatically move the ladder as he was like, people do that. They walk with the ladder. No, no. He came down. He came and down. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, the ground is still a little too mushy, I think, to uh -huh. walk with To do it. all that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me go chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Jokes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye.